What's going on out there, good people? This is your boy. Look around with LMD Trading. Um, making this video all over again. I just posted two videos to YouTube, and I noticed something when I went back to go watching them. So I'm reposting them again. Um, this video is a little different than the usual trade reviews video. I am making this video. This one here is going to be on um, how to create a volume momentum scanner. Um, we'll be making a volume momentum scanner that I use in Thinkorswim to find ideas that are having volume spikes. Um, I like to see a volume a spike as opposed to a price spike. Price spikes, you can get a huge price spike on no volume, which doesn't mean a thing. But if you get a nice volume spike, um, that can be a sign of momentum. So um, let's go ahead, pull up Think or Swim, and we will get building this one. Um, the initial video that I made, it had my camera turned on right here. So you weren't able to see when I was building the watch list or adding the message center. So I said, let me redo this video. But what we are looking at is my thinkorswim setup that I use in the mornings to find ideas. Um, I have switched over to white charts when I'm trading as opposed to the dark charts. Dark charts was adding a little strain on my eyes. So switched over to the white charts to try that out and I'm actually liking it. Um, but we have my watch list, they're all on this side. And then these are the charts that I use for um, finding ideas. I got my five minute, my one hour. These are my short time frame charts. Then on the right, I have the four hour and the daily. These are my long time frame charts. So you can look at these charts and you can see that these stocks, this stock is in a downtrend. Long term, short term is flat. So that's what we're looking at there. But let's go ahead and get what we are here to look at. And that is building a scanner. So in Thinkorswim, you just go up to the top where it says scan. Um, it's already set to stocks hacker, which is what we want. And right now it has my pre-market scanner set up. Most people would call this a gap scanner. That is how simple the gap scanner is that I use. I'm filtering for three things. I want the price between 75 cents and $40. I want the volume at least 15,000 shares. Again, this is pre-market, so um, at least 15,000 shares and a 2% change. And that is it for my gap scanner. What's important on the gap scanner is your watch list because you want to be able to, to um, sort it by either percent change, which is what most momentum um, traders have it scanned by, or by dollar and that's where you hear people say dollar gainers are dollar losers they're just scanning it based on the dollar amount but that's my very simple gap scanner for in the morning but we will get started building the volume momentum scanner and i'm going to delete or remove these filters right now and you're going to see that i will be adding all of those right back because the volume momentum scanner uses those same criteria. They use those same criteria. So let's get started. Um, the first one that we're going to add, we'll come here, add stock. And we're going to use the last price. And for this one, we're going to go one dollar and we'll go eh, let's say fifty dollars and you see right now it's eighty five hundred watch when we do that so 
keep an eye on that column as we add things. So the next one that we'll add is going to be in the stock again. And we're going to do volume. We'll do volume. And because we want some volume momentum, we're going to say that the minimum volume is 500,000. And now we're starting to dwindle that 8,500 share or 8,500 stocks down. So we'll add another stock filter. And this time we're going to add percent change. And we're going to go 2% plus 2%. Dwindled it down a little bit more. And we will add one more stock filter this one here is up for discussion um, this one here is going to be shares and we know that thinkorswim doesn't allow you to, to filter for bloat but if we use shares and we'll do 50 million here if we do shares, we know that the float cannot be higher than that. So if you set a number here, then you know that the, the float won't be higher than that number. So we'll just put that one at 50 million for now. And then we're going to add two more filters. These two filters here will be studies. But before we do that, let's do a scan. Let's do a scan and we'll see what we get for these four filters. So right now we've taken these thousands of stocks and we've dwindled it down to 94. So 94 stocks meet these criteria, but we need some stuff that's going to filter for volume. And those are going to be studies. So the first study that we're going to do, we'll come down to volume. And we're going to say volume change. And what this filter is doing, and it's saying that you want the volume to be at least. And on this one, we're going to say, let's go 500. We want it to be 500% greater than one bar ago. And we're going to look for that on the one minute chart. So. Again, this is saying volume is at least 500% greater than one bar ago. That's your volume spike. So let's scan that. Now we're down to 11. So 11 ideas. And I'm making this video on the weekend when the market is closed. So these are really looking at the after hours so we would be getting some different results if the market was open but next filter and this is going to be our last filter it's going to be another volume change but this time and we'll keep it we'll keep it the same actually let's go 200 on this one and you can play with these you actually can play with any of these these are going to be to filter out your stocks these are going to be your trigger entries. So when these trigger, those are going to enter. And we want to go one bar because I'm wanting it to tell me when the previous bar was less than that. And this one here, we're going to do this based on the 15 minute chart. And we want it to tell us during extended hours as well. So let's do a search. Now we're down to four ideas. So Based on this criteria, these four stocks would meet it. So we've taken it down from 8,500 stocks initially down to four. And again, like I said, you can, you can tighten up this list based on, um, based on what you want these percentages to be. So if you see that you're kind of missing some, some ideas, you might want to play with these. Or if you see that you're getting too many, you're seeing that that one minute spike at 500 is not really giving you what you want, then you can play with it. I found that these numbers here work for me pretty good. So 
we'll keep that like that and then we'll come up here save scan query so we'll save it and I'm going to call this one and I put a pound sign in front of all of my um, scans that I saved just so it puts it at the top and we'll call this volume momentum and then we hit save and that's it that's our volume momentum scanner but now what you can do is we'll come back here and we'll make a watch list and you see these are my watch. so that's my pre-market this is where I'm dropping ideas this is my calls watch list nothing on it my puts watch list but we're going to create a watch list for the volume momentum so what we'll do we'll come here to personal we'll find volume momentum right there there goes those four ideas and I want to customize this watch list just to find stuff that I want to see so I don't want to see the bid I don't want to see the ask symbol is good I usually use market price and market change but we'll keep that there for now and then I'll add two more columns I'm gonna add volume because I want to know what the volume is and then I'm gonna add shares even though we know that this is not float um, I still want to know what the share size is for that particular stock so there we go those are our four ideas up oh, and then we need to do one other thing if you look at my charts you see that I have the link set to the red so we'll come to this little chain we'll set the link to red and then when you click those now they'll populate and see this did pretty good in the last week let's see another one with a nice pop um, that was a nice runner on Friday um, this one here it ran it popped just at the open just at the open made a nice move that was a two dollar move there so this would have gave you signals every time that volume on the one minute chart that previous candle was 500 percent less than the candle that just formed and that's how you use that and then we're going to add one other thing to this. Let's add one other thing. Um, we'll add the message center. And the message center is important um, because it will tell you whenever a idea hits a particular watch list so that you don't have to try to scan through there and find it. You can just see it pop up here and you can either type it in over here or you can um, sort this by the um, symbol and then you can scroll through and find it and to link your watch list to the message center very easy come up here you click alert when scan results change so you hit that and it's going to tell you when a symbol is added in that one it'll alert you and we hit create bam it just added and because we just created it they were just added and that's it so if something gets added to that it's going to give you a, a um, audible alert and then it'll be down here in your message center and that is it it is that simple to create a volume momentum scanner and after this video I will be creating um, another one showing the low float scanner that I use within thinkorswim even though we know that thinkorswim doesn't have a way to scan for low floats um, there's somewhat a way around it so be on the lookout for that video shortly and if you hadn't already hit the like button, please do so. Um, if you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing. What I do on this channel is I review my daily trades that are taken in a small account trading options. Um, 
Options is a great way to make money in a small account. Um, and I made this channel just to show people that. Just to show people that. I do trade other, um, other forms of trading. I do regular stock trading. I do some swing plays. But this particular channel, I try to focus on um, just trading options. But I do think that these scanners are important because they help you find ideas. And that was the purpose of making this one. So hope you all enjoyed it. And we will catch you Monday. All right. Peace.